Okay, good afternoon. Um, say good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Is it boring or what? Okay, uh, it's something like uh, summing up of our session so far we had. It is just to see what we have learned on IB, DP, and how are we going to implement a successful diploma program. For that, we need to have four P's, meaning there are four um, requirements starting with people, principles, practicalities, planning. These are the four requirements to have a successful uh, DP diploma program. Um, to look at uh, the people, can we just have a, an idea about uh, who are the people involved? Just summary, whatever you understand, we can correlate how meaningful you are, you are thinking, you are understanding of the people related to IBDP. Can we, can we find out? Who are they? Teachers, students, students uh, guardians. Stakeholders in general, starting from the students, teachers, administrators, the governors, ultimately, the owners of the institution, and of course, um, the parents. Right? Um, these are the four these require people, principles, practicalities, planning, and uh, What do we have? Look at this. Strong support from the head and senior management, which is otherwise called SMT, Senior Management Team. Good student selection. Ability helps, but interest, attitude, enthusiasm are likely are very important. How enthusiastic those students are, how capable of completing the program, coping up with requirement of DP, so not that we can admit anybody and everybody. So the selection process, that is selection and grading, grading and selection. So likewise it has to be uh, appropriate. Strong student identity, special but not elite. Strong student identity, that means specific for IBDP. As it is to say again, not that anybody can do IB. It's not a capacity for everybody, right? Uh, a strong diploma management team, DPC, head coordinator, area of knowledge, teachers and coordinators, librarian, technology coordinator, sales. The entire community as a whole related to people. Um, that is precisely if you recall standards and practices, that is uh, section 2 dealing with organization, where it uh, talks about support, professional support, good administrative support. The right DPC with dedication, enthusiasm and leadership. And the right cash coordinator with enthusiasm, dedication and leadership. And the right teaching staff with good selection and training. Selection of the sense is not like primary years program where everybody teaches every subject. Whereas here, it is not the case. Um, training is important. Training is not actually the training that uh, 
we otherwise undergo bachelor of education master of education so here the training is related to ib professional development the training given by ib three days face to face and about four weeks not exactly four weeks about four weeks online is very important next um okay we are just uh, little bit uh, talk on this what kind of support do you give will you give as head actually related to person like me but otherwise as faculty what kind of support you can give just a word or two with the resources with the resources okay Uh, completely. How you can support run the program? Strategies learned will be made use of to make it successful. Then, when it comes to student selection, how do you support? Okay, differentiated learning. Thereby, actually, there should be some selection criteria. Either we identify the special skills the students have okay. through um, the learning attributes, or we have uh, maybe an assessment that will give us some idea about the strength of the student, from which we can uh, find out a better choice among the suitability. students to get uh, into the stream next please do you think you have all this right dpc right coordinators core coordinators how do you recognize them what do you think they contribute and its core coordinators tok coordinator xndc coordinator cash coordinator what do you think they contribute to be a successful diploma passer do you think you have a competent uh, coordinators please uh principles let's look at these uh, uh, four areas pertains to the core when it comes to core what are they what do you call core in ibdp okay area of knowledge so let us say activity activity and service so This is one of the requirements, one of the principles necessary for implementing diploma program. The program must retain its own identity while integrating with the rest of the institution. This is especially when we have other programs being delivered, like IGCSE, for that matter. Still, we have retained diploma programs. qualities the salient features look outwards exam links with the other schools trips as field trips related to creativity activity and service even otherwise educational trips that you make part and parcel of the program program remember that the dp is about the whole person everyone teaching staff dpc as coordinator smt and is senior management team counselor senior counselor parents other students must take a holistic view of each dp student remember what we did on based on the psychology the student the learner is not looked at in isolation but in totality <coughs> the learning outcome should be 
not in isolation but in total outcomes. So these are actually the principles to be strictly followed. Uh, if you look at this, this is a name, the student, particularly the deepest schools. So why it is the student is given uh, uh, is given separately at the top because when we have two different programs offered, student in general, DP students in particular. Okay? When it comes to DP students, in comparison to other students, candidates and mindedness, these are actually specific to DP. So you do not have CAS or international mindedness, say for example, ways, for example, IECSC. So those actually programs are more of uh, um, closed curriculum, whereas IB is open-ended, isn't it? And you do not have that much scope relatively there. Next please. Practicalities. When it comes to practicalities, so saying is very easy, but when, in, when we put into practice, there are difficulties. So what are the difficulties we face? Accept the challenges for resources and time. As you rightly said, resources are very important. When we don't have enough required resources, it's a big challenge for implementing the program. Uh, and again, when you don't have uh, required resources, time management is a problem. Because if you are running for resources here and there, you, you run out of time. So yet, yet you have to complete because IB is uh, based on time management. Right? Uh, one of the reasons why the DP is good is because it is challenging. It's actually a rigorous program. IB is a rigorous program which is not otherwise felt in any other program. Make sure that you have regular DP team meetings. So it has to be periodical. Once in two weeks, once in a week, collaborative meetings, vertical meetings, horizontal meetings, CAS meetings, QOK meetings. Is it not? So it has to be there. So this is actually something practically difficult, but we have to meet. It's crucial to have a manageable calendar of assessment deadlines. So deadlines to be met is very, very important. IB means deadline, deadline means IB. Just a simple to follow. Next space for CO, TOK, HNLC and CAS, do not push them to the sidelines. Like, okay, we can do it. Sometimes it has to be equally uh, scheduled when it comes to timetabling. So these three should get equal priority in comparison to the subjects. All right, next please. Okay. Just uh, think on these lines and uh, see where we... <coughs> Um, are able to meet the deadlines where we are not able to. Alright? Um, so much so, next please. Planning. Have an ongoing action plan. <laughs> So what we do, all should be recorded. Every subject, every action we do is to be recorded and followed with, uh, strictly. And if there's anything to be amended, revised, that again should be recorded. All right? Um, that's what very many schools have, at least for five years, the action plan should be made. I made for uh, one batch, that is up to 2019, I have made, and that has to be reviewed. And constantly review and revise what you are doing, that's what. So we might do, because uh, IB is actually believing in backward planning. 
we think of something well in advance, but we might go wrong somewhere, or at least get slightly deviated. So accordingly, we have to correct that as per the necessity. Have clear goals, standards and practices, give full guidance here. So that's why actually we have to stick to standards and practices, especially curriculum, especially curriculum. Uh, what are the standards are there? What are the recommended practices are there? Practice you can still uh, uh, make it better because those practices recommended by IB are globally recommended. But uh, depending on the local necessity, perhaps you can deviate slightly, right? And the leave, leave the mission and the learner profile. So ultimately, a child when it when he comes out of DP should have realized all the learner profile, that is 10 attributes, all right? And always you should lead to the mission of the IP as well as mission of the institution. Basically the missions, IP as well as the schools should match generally, all right? So this is what actually required planning. Next please. So, just let's look at this. You have an ongoing action plan for your diploma program. It is there. Uh, but again, we have to re-look at it because it was done uh, in a hurry. So you have to see where all we can improve. Use the standard practices as a planning tool. Yes, that's all that kept in mind. Uh, does everyone in your school leave the mission and the learner profile? Mission of IB and of course our school's mission. Right? If these two match, fine. They don't we have to see where we can we can mend. Not IB's mission. IB mission we cannot mend. But we have to mend our own mission. Isn't it? To be aligned with the IB. Alright? Um, that's it. So let's look at this and get back to us sometime. Thank you.